African women and girls face a lot of challenges accessing quality health care and systems. Approximately 23% of all women on our continent had an unmet need for family planning and women account for 63% of people living with HIV. Weak and underfunded health systems mean that women are often unable to access the care that they need. Even when there's access to health care, unfortunately there's an even quality to these services which further leads to misdiagnosis, mistreatment, and sometimes preventable complications. Specific social and cultural practices and discriminatory policies, such as age of consent for accessing services, can increase women's health risks, including risk of HIV infection, and make it difficult to access the health information or care that they need. The positive ripple effects of investing in women's health care are clear. When women have access to quality health care services and are able to maintain good health, they are more likely to participate in social, economic and political life. By reducing the prevalence of HIV among adolescents, more young women can stay in school which in turn improves women's social status and economic output. Women's health care must be provided free of discrimination, stigma or political barriers when a woman can decide whether to have children and if so, when and how many, she can define her life and future. We are equal. We are equal. We are equal. We are equal. Our health care should be too.